future scientist welcome to my channel phd with shelza i really hope that you all are well and this is my new video where i will be discussing about the things that you need and require to apply for phd abroad so i know that after deciding that you want to do a phd it's little difficult for you to know what are the requirements right so for this i decided to make this video so that you get an overview what you will be needing if you are applying for phd either in us or europe so let me share my screen and you will see what is you need so after deciding that you want to do phd you should figure out whether you want to do it from us or you want to do it from U europe or uk as uh, there is a slight different procedure for us and europe as i told you that in us uh, mainly university will select you and then you got, get the professor but in the europe or uk the professor should be the one who is going to select you so now uh, the things that you need when you are applying for us the first one is gre I know people think that uh, GRE is the main for applying in US for PhD, but that's not true. It is completely optional after the COVID things. So if you want PhD there, you can apply before you know, by not giving GRE too. But the thing you should keep in mind that some universities are still taking GRE. So you have to figure it out and check with the university whether the university in which you want to go is, go is either taking GRE or not. So the second thing is TOEFL or IELTS. Yes, I will say that if you are giving TOEFL or you are giving IELTS, doesn't matter. Both are accepted in the US. As I also applied in US uh, and I got accepted just with the IELTS score. So IELTS or TOEFL doesn't matter it should be an English exam. Also, you have to check with your university what scores they need for the TOEFL or IELTS because it's different. So that you need to check with the university. Now the third one is the statement of purpose. Uh, this is basically, uh, you have to write about your motivation, your research interest, your research experience, and all about this in 800 to 1000 words. But in some universities, they ask you different things like they divide the statement of persons into two purposes. First one is the personal statement and the second is the research statement. So oh, you have to check again that with the university, but generally it is statement of purpose, uh, which is around 800 to 1000 words. Now coming to the recommendations in university in US, you need three recommendation letters to support your application. And it would be great if that three recommendation letters would be from a person who has academic background. Now, application fees. So in US, you have to fill a form with an application fee. And that would be around 5,000 to 8,000 depending on the university. So if you are applying in US, then you have to keep this in mind. Now, the last is the good academic background. Uh, it simply means that you should have good scores in your master's or in your bachelor's. So if you are having good scores, then definitely university is going to select you. So if you are in your master's or bachelor's, I will say, please keep your scores good because that's going to help you in your PhD if you want to do it then. Now, uh, these things are the six things that you should keep in mind while applying for PhD in US. Now coming to the Europe or UK section, the first benefit is there is no GRE. No university will be asking for the GRE in UK or Europe. The second thing is TOEFL or IELTS. I will again say that both exams will be accepted here. And in UK, uh, you have to give IELTS, that's for sure. But in uh, Europe, it's not compulsory. Some universities take it and some not. But I'll still say and highly recommend you to do give this IELTS or TOEFL exam because it is going to help you. 
Now again, you have to write statement of purpose, which is around 800 to 1000 words discussing about your motivation, your research interest and your research experience. Now here you will be needing two recommendation letter, which is not uh, the case in the US. In US, definitely you need three recommendation. And the one more point, there is no application fees. So you can apply it to so many universities you want as you won't be paying any fees. And at the last year, you need good academic background in UK and Europe too. So you have to work with your grades anyway. So yeah, do work on that. And this is the criteria and requirements of PhD abroad. So that's all that I want to discuss with you today. Uh, the another thing is I will be making videos about the timeline you follow for US or what should you do if you want to apply for UK or Europe in the coming time. And let me know if you need anything else in this uh, requirement or you have some doubts regarding this. Please let me know in the comments so that I can get what are your doubts and I can make another video for that. And I will be happy to help you. So please let me know if you need anything. And I am there with you in your PhD journey. Okay. So now bye bye. And good luck for your applications.